All right, man, in this video, by the way, this is Doc Farhan. Um, I always try to just get into the material, but let me introduce myself as Doc Farhan. You probably know this. Let's get into SHBG today. SHBG is something that a lot of guys talk about. How do you lower it? A lot of guys have a problem with very high SHBG levels. Now, what the hell is it? I'm gonna go into the science very deeply today in this video, and I'm gonna explain to you how to lower your SHBG levels if they're too high. Because the higher your SHBG, the lower your free testosterone. And free testosterone is what you need as a man for boners and uh, sex drive and, and, and bone density, muscle growth. All of these primary and secondary sexual characteristics are all dependent on free testosterone levels. What doctors don't realize a lot of the time, they're going to tell you what your total testosterone is. You know, I see sometimes blood test results. And, and clients will have their total testosterone. And I'm like, well, what's your free testosterone? What's your SHBG level? And even what is your albumin level so we can calculate your bioavailable testosterone? But what is SHBG? It's sex hormone binding globulin. It's a protein molecule. It binds to testosterone and it renders it ineffective, useless. So you have all this testosterone roaming around in your body, in your blood. When SHBG is bound to it, you can't use that testosterone molecule anymore. So when you have very high when you have very high SHBG levels, you usually have very low free testosterone. That's what's important here. Most guys should have around one to two percent free testosterone of their total testosterone. A lot of us who take Afro D, who are in the Afro D Academy, we have higher than two percent. We've passed that normal reference range. Mine is higher than two percent. I want yours to be at least one to two percent, but it won't be if your SHB levels are too high. So how do you lower SHBG levels? Before I get into that, let me just tell you that too low SHBG is even more harmful to your health than too high SHBG levels. Because sometimes you'll have very high SHBG levels, but your total testosterone will also be very high. It's okay, because then your free testosterone is good enough. But if your total testosterone is yeah, and your SHBG is high, then your free testosterone is going to be even lower than 1%. And I've seen that in many, many, many cases. So if you've already done your blood test and you have your SHBG results and they're too high, this is how you get rid of it or at least lower it a little bit. You don't want to get rid of it, obviously. But if you haven't taken your SHBG blood test, go and get the fuck it done get the fuck it done. Go get it done, please. Get your, get your SHBG results, get your total testosterone, free testosterone, albumin, bioavailable, vitamin D, zinc, magnesium. Get all of these done. Get cortisol done. Get estrogen done. Get these blood tests done, man. Now, how do you lower SHBG levels? The first thing is don't overtrain your body. A lot of the guys, even the guys that have decent testosterone and have very high SHBG levels, they train so hard that their body is unable to recover and rest. So I'm not saying only train two days a week or only train three days a week. You can train six days a week, seven days a week, whatever you want. That's what I do. But I also get proper rest. I also get the proper nutrition, which I'm about to get into soon. And I also rest my body. Like I, I meditate. I do that rest and relaxation at night and during the day sometimes I take a nap and I get my eight hours of sleep at night. Super, super important because during sleep is when you produce testosterone during the REM stage of sleep. Now, that's the first way of lowering SHBG. The second way is get good proteins in your diet. There have been studies that have shown that high SHBGs because there's not enough good protein in the diet. And I don't mean soy or edamame or tofu or any of that shit. I mean good protein, grass-fed beef, wild-caught salmon, organic chicken. We eat a lot of chicken liver and beef liver. I've started eating rabbit liver. And a lot of those posts are in the Afri Academy. We have a guy, Simon, in the Academy who eats raw liver, just straight up. He made a video last week about it. It was so badass. Andre, other guys, they're eating liver, chicken liver usually, beef liver. So these are good proteins and also good fats, obviously. I mean, you need fats to produce testosterone as well. But in the SHBG case, increase your protein intake if it's too low. 
And for those of you who are on a vegetarian diet or on a vegan diet, make sure you can get those good proteins. It doesn't have to be meat, okay? Now, the third way, you need to <laughs> Now, the third way, your olive oil intake must go down. If you are on a Mediterranean diet, they've done these studies where they've looked at Mediterranean diet users, and a lot of those people are in the Mediterranean or they're in those countries, and they're on a Mediterranean diet which has a very high consumption of olive oil, like a crazy high consumption. When they lower that consumption of olive oil, their SHBG also goes down. Okay, so high SHBG sometimes because of high olive oil intake. So that is my third suggestion. If you're taking a lot of oil, especially olive, lower it and see what happens to your SHBG levels. The fourth way I'm gonna tell you is by taking Tonkat Ali. Now, if you look at the seven clinical trials that have looked at Tonkat Ali and seen what are the benefits of Tonkat Ali and what are the mechanisms through which Tonkat Ali increases free testosterone. Remember, Tonkat Ali is the main ingredient inside Afro-D. It's the principal ingredient. I'm gonna make a brand new video, an entire video just about Tonkat Ali for you very soon. Okay, now, Tonkat Ali's, one of the hypotheses that they've made is the way Tonkat Ali makes your free testosterone higher is by lowering SHBG levels. This is a hypothesis. This is a mechanistic hypothesis and it's not something that they've proven yet, but it is a proposal out there. So that is the fourth way that you can lower SHBG levels. Now I also want to tell you that what I found in my own personal experience and reading thousands of blood test reports is sometimes, and I've seen this enough times to make a point of it, high SHBGs also from high cortisol levels. Okay, it's high stress levels. You're training too hard. You're, you're putting too much pressure on your body. You're not getting enough nutrients to relax and recover from those workouts, especially the good proteins that I told you about. And that is also something to be wary of. You, if, if you look at SHBG and it's too high, it's gonna affect other things too in your body because the body tries to get homeostasis. Here is the final thing I'm gonna tell you before I get into other deficiencies. SHBG, you can't just lower on its own. Don't think like that. The body works in a homeostasis, it, it works in a homeostatic manner. So if you try to lower one thing, it's like doing a exercise to strengthen your left testicle. Like you can't do that. You can't just lower SHBG because a lot of the guys, they make the mistake, they try to just lower SHBG and their total testosterone also lowers their total testosterone in their body also lowers. You don't want to do that. You want to focus on increasing testosterone levels fully. So even if your SHBG is a bit high, it doesn't fucking matter because your testosterone is enough. So you have enough free testosterone in your body. Okay, now let's get into the other deficiencies. Vitamin D, zinc, and magnesium. These are the three main deficiencies in men. I've already made a video about that. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. For vitamin D, I try to walk at least an hour, especially in the summer, because there's sun out and I get that sun. I take 5,000 IUs of vitamin D drops every single day, okay? And when I was very deficient, I was taking 10,000 drops, IUs, uh, 10,000 IU drop, droplets. And the brand I use, more details about vitamin D, I'm gonna make a brand new video about vitamin D and I'm gonna show you how to do and fix your vitamin D levels, all right? That's what I wanted to tell you in this video, man. This is how you lower your SHBG levels. Good luck, go make it happen. If you want more information on the nutrients you need to eat, the food you need to eat, the exercises you need to do, especially the nutrients that have a high, or the foods that have a high level of zinc, magnesium, and vitamin D, these nutrients, and, and vitamins and minerals, then go click the link below 
and get the free books that I have, those Amazon bestsellers that, that have been in the market for a few years now. I'm just giving them away to you for free. You can access that. It's a digital copy. You can start boosting your testosterone right fucking now. So go click those links in the description below if you want more information about Afro D and how Afro D can help you increase your testosterone naturally, 100% naturally and safely, then that link is also below. Go click on that and find out about Afro D, what all the badass guys, their, ex their experience with Afro D, how they're benefiting from it into their masculinity and their manhood. All right, man, I'll talk to you soon. See you in the next video.